Good afternoon and welcome back to our beautiful pantry. Did you know there is only eight weeks until Thanksgiving? <laughs> don't feel bad, I didn't either. I actually had to just go and count it. But this coming holiday season, don't you dare cry over spilled milk because as of right now, guess what's coming to this holiday season near you? A butter shortage and I love butter. So this makes me absolutely sad because all those things that we bake these coming holidays are cookies, our pies, but she used lard. But according to the Wall Street Journal, the cold stock of butter is at its lowest reserve since 2017. Where is this awful shortage of butter of all things coming from? Well guys, if you've been paying attention to the news and you've been paying attention to what's happening across our beautiful country, you'll know that diesel prices have soared. There's been diesel shortages. Farmers have been selling their cattle off because of all the droughts and not being able to afford to feed them. Also the increased surges in cattle feed prices. Farmers are lowering their numbers of herds as they're being forced to cut corners like the rest of us are across the United States. So this lack of supply coming in to these processing plants is leading to this butter shortage. And not only that, but there is a shortage of labor workers across the United States, which you all have got to be aware of now. So those factors are contributing to all of this, which is going to make our holiday season a little bit unmerrier. So if you at all bake, I encourage you to go out and stock up on your butter. Now you might ask, how long is that butter going to keep if I store that butter? Well, if you keep it in your fridge, it's not going to last nearly as long. But I've safely frozen butter up to a couple years. Uh, you just take it out and you thaw it. We use butter quite frequently. In fact, I probably use it more than I do anything else besides lard, just because we like to go with what's natural instead of um, man-made, i.e. margarine. So I steer away from that because it's, it's one chemical compound structure away from plastic, so I don't like feeding my children that. The other thing that you guys really need to be made aware of is that butter prices have soared 24.6% in the last 12 months. There's another reason why I think that you should stock on butter. Now, I always stock butter, so I usually have about eight packages in my freezer because I love butter. <laughs> and I just like cooking with it, and there's nothing better than a cookie made with butter because it's soft and it's moist and it's delicious. And my husband and kids will tell you that all day long. They love cookies. So that's why I stock it and I do a lot of cooking. Butter also can be canned and canning butter reduce how much freezer space you're taking up to store this butter. Next week, we'll can some butter with you, okay? It does have to be pressure canned, but then that's shelf stable for three to five years. And again, you don't waste your freezer space if if at all, that is a high-priced commodity in your house like it is mine. Prepare for this holiday season. Get you some stock and butter. So that way, come November, here in eight short weeks on Thanksgiving, you're not short that butter for your wonderful cookies that I know you want to make your family, okay? I hope you all have a blessed day. And thank you for being patient with me as I am learning how to work again. <laughs> Sounds so mundane, doesn't it? But anyway, all right, have a blessed day. Thank you guys for showing up to our channel.